okay now we'll see the purchases returns okay just now in the previous topic we saw the purchases reversal of 1000 right this is bought from uh, vendor 002 and then it's reversed so this net of this comes zero now in this topic let us see what is our next topic here purchases returns of 200 by vendor 001 which is here shown here purchases returns of 200 mm -hmm. this is a uh, credit memo we call this incoming credit memo because a credit memo is coming in you return the faulty goods to the vendor and the vendor sends a credit memo you can post it here accounting finance accounting account fail documentary credit memo any credit memos which is received from the vendors is known as incoming credit memo and any credit memo that is sent to your customers is, is called outgoing credit memos Okay, choose the vendor. Is it the first vendor or second vendor? First vendor. Okay, so choose the first vendor or you have to change their company code. Change company code to Sun. Choose it. First vendor A. Document D. How much is that? 200 yeah 200 for GL account you just choose the GL account to which you posted the uh, purchase invoice okay this one this way you posted isn't it the purchase invoice let me just open the purchase invoice in the background FB03 <coughs> Go to document list. Two thousand nine. This one here. Not this one. What's the amount there? Yeah? The amount is five hundred. Oh, sorry. So this is the one. This is the purchase invoice, right? Let me go here. Sorry, here put the amount as 500 is the purchase invoice amount so 200 is the purchase returns so go here enter 200 let's make sure the account is 600,000 this here simulate see this Let's check the postings now. Vendor is credited, right? This is the purchase invoice. Purchase invoice vendor is credited, cost of sales is debited. When you do the returns, it should be the other way around. Vendor is debited and cost of sales is credited. Post it, posted. I mean, just the values of the vendor. Oh, not here, not this vendor, the first vendor. One. You see this? Our original invoice is 500 and the returns is 200. The balance of the vendor is 300. This minus this. Alright. Now we go to.